It's Tuesday morning. I'm currently in Leyland, just outside Bill Hickson Cycles. Been picking up some new brake pads for the bike. Yeah, let's see if we can have a closer look at that. So you can see, got the new brake pads installed. The guys have been great helping me out. Uh, the front ones are okay, but yeah, the rear brake pads were just completely worn and I wasn't really getting the stopping power that I needed. Uh, plan for today is to get to Lancaster, which is about 60, 70 kilometers. Um, you know, it should be a, it should be a much more reasonable day than trying to really push myself. A um, bit of a cloudy day at the moment, but hopefully no rain. But it will probably be a bit gusty, but hopefully going with me rather than against me. Uh, first stop is 15 k's in. We're going to get to Preston and visit the Holy Grounds Cafe where they do uh, these special donuts. Should be a nice Tuesday morning treat. Anyway, let's get cracking. Well, so much for no rain today. Had a bit of drizzle leaving Leyland. Um, currently on the cycle route leading to Curden Valley Park, which is a nice change from the roads. Have our own little cycle path. Still feeling not 100% healthy, got a bit of a cough and a sore throat, so hoping uh, you're nervous, no, nice long cycle in the rain is definitely going to help that. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright, <laughs> I've been very impressed with this cycle path, it's smooth, there's lots of space, it's uh, lots of beautiful scenery, it's a really nice start to the day. So not to be about walking dogs, must have seen about you know, maybe 30 or 40 dogs. And the sun is coming out now. There's a bit of wind, some gusts about, but uh, hopefully going to be on my side. I've had a fantastic flat white coffee and a lovely chocolate donut from Holy Grounds in Preston. Now, just been admiring the beautiful gardens at Evanham before I set off on my way on the, I think it's the Guildhild Way, which is a lovely, lovely cycling track that sort of detours around Preston rather than going through it. Um, it's just past midday, still got a good 50 k's to go, but uh, yeah, just gonna take it easy. Not in a rush. Hey, the path around Preston, which apparently is called the Guild Wheel Way, is, is fantastic. Uh, it's probably my best, best uh, bicycle path experience that goes uh, around the city. Parts of it were under construction, but you know, that can't be helped. But uh, yeah, yeah, no wonderful pathway. I've um, got, a, got a beautiful tour of the canals around Preston. Now going through some farmland and it's all nicely signposted. Uh, you know, plenty of, plenty of room for sharing with pedestrians. So yeah, it's been really good. I've just, just feel like I'm leaving Preston now. Just going over the motorway. Uh, but yeah, so definitely five stars for the Guild Wheel Way. p.m. and I'm cycling down quiet country lanes. I'm on my way to Scornton where I'll have some lunch and going through some some funny places. I went through Wood Prompton. Wood Prompton? I don't know where these names are coming from. Uh, we've had a bit of a southwesterly breeze this afternoon. Quite a strong breeze really. I don't know what a stronger word is than breeze. It's not really gusty. It's just 
constant so whenever I have to cycle the slightest bit west it's always met with a bit of resistance but fortunately I'm mostly sort of going north which is generally where I want to be going anyway should be in Scornton soon hoping to have some lunch at the barn Had a, a fantastic late lunch at the barn at Scornton. Scornton. I gotta keep saying Scornton. There's only one in. Um, fantastic array of desserts, like little, beautiful little cheesecakes and meringues. Uh, had yeah, had a sandwich and some chips. So feeling pretty full now. Uh, it's just past 4 p.m. The clouds are looking a bit loomy, so I need to sort of crack on and get those last 15 k's complete. Get myself into Lancaster. Uh, and settle down the Airbnb. Looking forward to it. Uh, it's been a, it's been a good pace. I like this 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 amount of distance. It gives me a lot of breathing work room to sort of enjoy the journey a bit more. Uh, yeah, especially on a day like today. Anyway, let's do this. Lancaster. Uh, the journey in actually was a lot better than I expected. Uh, shout out to Cycle Travel website for making me a route to get into Lancaster City without having to go on any busy roads. Um, it was one big hill to, to get over, but apart from that, it was all good. Um, yeah, mostly following a proper bicycle path um, to get in, so that was that was pretty good. The Airbnb is fantastic. I've got uh, Tango actually sitting downstairs. He's, he's inside in the kitchen. Lucky dog. Um, so he'll be all good tonight. Um, I'm actually going to stay here for a couple more nights just till this cold disappears. Um, it also gives me a chance to take a break from cycling and and uh, you know do some do some traveling around the city, sort of learn a bit about the area rather than just heading straight on. I'd also like to plan out uh, maybe a week of just touring around the lakes district. You know, these, these nine lakes set around uh, a bunch of mountains. And it's a apparently a beautiful area, and there's uh, lots lots of, like, walking trails, and you can go swimming in the lakes. I don't know, there's basically lots to do. So it'd be cool to, rather than bypassing it on the bike, it'd be cool to sort of head in and uh, learn a bit more, well, you know, see and experience uh, this area of the country. Um, so yeah, so I need to plan that out. But uh, yeah, today it was a success. Um, it was a bit further than I was expecting. Um, ended up, I think, being around 45 miles. But yeah, I got in around 5.30pm, I think. Looking forward to having a break from cycling for a bit, then coming back refreshed and rejuvenated. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep. I'll catch you later. <laughs> 